Hello guys, Chris P. Welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GTX 1650, as you can see here in MSI Afterburner. This is the Mini ITX OC from Gigabyte, and yeah, it doesn't even require a 6-pin power connector. It just consumes all of its power through the motherboard, 75 watts, pretty decent low-powered GPU. Of course, the price of it isn't really that attractive, but for those of you with really low-end power supplies, this is, I guess, your only option. We're running Ryzen 7 3700 x with 16 gigs of frames you can see over here and we're gonna be playing rust of course the ryzen 7 3700 x is quite of a bit of an overkill cpu for the 1650 or even the 1650 super but if you do have something like an i5 4690k and overclock that to like 4.2 3 4.5 gigahertz something like that we'll absolutely be able to play this game with the same frame rates that we're about to see in this video so yeah moving on i'm going to be playing at 1080p of course that's the resolution of choice to play with the gtx 1650 and of course i'm going to be testing it at low medium high and ultra settings starting off with low settings everything is set to the minimum right now and yeah over here in the image effects as well and in the experimental settings i'm just going to leave those disabled for the entire video because yeah those are experimental those aren't really supposed to be messed with at least not with lower end graphics cards so let's go ahead and start counting our averages and one percent lows over here let's try to find like a an area with some trees around us so like a forest area okay so as you can see everything looks pretty much like vomit everywhere because of the low settings but that's a good thing you know i'm gonna be testing the gt710 today as well maybe i'm gonna post that video earlier than this one to be honest but yeah i still have to test the gt710 and seeing these graphics i think that rust should be pretty playable on the gt710 as well and you shouldn't really need to drop your resolution too much so yeah right now we're seeing like 90 around 90 percent gpu usage some like maybe like 80 to 90 percent uh which is decent you know of course this game isn't really well optimized it never was it stutters a little bit sometimes that's why our one percent lows are just below 60 right now but we've seen that with all of the graphics cards that i tested so far here in 2019 december so yeah this game has a ton of updates every time so i really have to retest it every now and then uh, to keep my results up to date you you know and now i think it's running quite a bit worse than it did a few months ago so that's bad to see of course i don't really like when developers do this like they update their game and make it run slower or worse and yeah guys as you can probably tell here with the horse we're actually getting a few stutters uh, because everything is just rendering in and oh my gosh there's radiation no no let's get out of here buddy no oh my gosh i think i'm gonna die guys let's go this way radiation poisoning that's always a good thing isn't it <laughs> let's just oh my okay yeah i'm dead now i'm just gonna stop it right there all right so we got 103 fps on average 45 fps 1 percent lows yeah the stuttering is bad in this one but it's not that noticeable and the game is still playable of course and enjoyable like this so i'm just gonna go ahead and set it to medium settings which is like everything kind of in the middle of the sliders so okay so those are our graphics quality settings take a look at that image effects i'm just gonna enable fxaa anti-aliasing sun shafts and high quality bloom i think those are the ones that i tried in the other videos as well medium settings so i'm just gonna go ahead and we're dead. All right, let's respawn. I got killed by... Yes. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we're in the middle of nowhere. So we're just going to go to the abandoned supermarket, I guess. Let's just try to get there. Okay, let me just start counting our averages and 1% lows here. I would really like to see a forest area. Maybe that way we will find one. Because that's where you get the lowest FPS. Of course, our GPU is now uh, the bottleneck in the system. So it's running at 98% usage, as you can see. And yeah, our CPU is not the limiting factor anymore uh, it's not really the cpu that's the limiting factor it's just the the game it, it just doesn't run well you know so yeah let's just move on and ignore that guy completely <laughs> we only have this so yeah can i craft something here with this i'm just gonna craft a few things here okay what the heck where is it oh it's crafting all right i'm not very used to rust at this point you know 
I just played it for like 130 hours a few years ago, like four or five years ago, and then I just stopped playing it, and I only play it now for the benchmarks, but it's a fun game, actually. When I played it, I used to play it with friends, and the game was quite enjoyable back then, and, and keep in mind that the performance was actually very bad as well, so I was still able to enjoy the game even with like around 40 FPS. So don't you get concerned if you're seeing a few drops here in there to like the 50s or 40s sometimes of course it's gonna drop because the game is very badly optimized but it's still an enjoyable experience nonetheless so so far so good here on medium settings of course our averages are quite a bit better than for example the 1650 video or the gtx 1060 videos uh yeah that's just because we can't seem to find a forest area maybe like there but that's a long way through but yeah, I'm just gonna try it anyways. But yeah, guys, compared to low settings, you can see that there's a massive, absolutely massive difference in the graphical quality here. So yeah, there's textures now, whereas on low settings, there weren't even any textures to speak of. <laughs> and yeah, the trees don't look like vomit at the distance, so everything looks a bit better, or quite a bit better. Really a lot better, to be honest. Um, yeah, even like the stone in your hand, and the textures are actually quite good here on medium as well so I personally think that medium settings gives you the best visual fidelity compared to performance you know the, the graphics slash performance ratio uh, yeah I would probably play on medium and that goes even for like the GTX 1060 and 1650 super as well if you watch those videos I think on high settings it was dropping into the 50s quite often so yeah medium settings we were getting like around 100 FPS on those GPUs but yeah I would recommend medium as well maybe I'm gonna die oh no yep I'm definitely gonna die okay then so that's medium settings for you <laughs> 79 FPS on average 1% lows of 53 let's just go ahead and respawn in another area and now hopefully we are near a forest yeah maybe we are so that's good to see okay just gonna go ahead and set it to high settings now the game crashed of course it did so why wouldn't it we are at 1080p of course high settings this time around I put everything that I could like three quarters of the way so yeah that's it as you can probably see here and yeah over here on the image effect settings it's like this right now so let's do this on high settings try to move away from here so that guy just doesn't spot us where am I by the way uh, near any forest I don't know guys I really wish I am here on high settings actually the game looks quite a bit better as you can probably tell in the video yeah the lightning the shadows the ambient occlusion everything does look really good here on rust you know rust is actually a pretty damn good looking game when played on high settings or ultra settings uh, it's just that the FPS tank down so much when you use those settings that I highly recommend you just to play on medium and just enjoy the gameplay you know so yeah okay there are two guys down there I'm probably gonna die with them but I really want to go like into those trees there so we can actually see our minimum FPS here at high settings let's go we're approaching that area and we're approaching the guys and we're probably going to die and I don't really want to die but yeah that's how it goes here in Rust if you don't know guys so if you want to play this game just be aware that you will die a lot okay so yeah all right inside these trees which is pretty damn demanding as you can probably tell we're getting into like the mid 30s sometimes uh yeah okay so 34 right there 35 36 that's our one percent low right now so it's not bad still you can still play like this without a problem if you want that visual fidelity you can set it on high settings here and play with the GTX 1650 and it's still gonna be playable as I told you already I'm, I'm gonna die as I told you <laughs> okay I don't think that guy's gonna kill me but I don't know I'm just gonna move along yeah guys I say that the game is completely playable here still on high settings as I told you already I used to play the game around like 40 FPS we're getting like a 43 FPS on average a few drops into the low 30s sometimes when there are trees around us but 
this is very playable definitely let's just stop it right there uh, we got a 1% low here of 29 which is uh, not that great but I didn't really see our FPS dropping that much so anyways let's just put the anti-aliasing here to SMAA I'm not gonna touch these three because I don't like the effects they introduce and I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything to the maximum settings here so as I am doing this my friends our FPS are dropping by by so much we're in the low 20s right now okay so 1080p what the heck's going on with my voice 1080p everything else is still here on maximum settings everything else here is like this and okay so now the game is just not playable okay so don't really bother playing this game with 20 something FPS unless you have like a 710 and that's the way you play and you are used to it you know if you have a 1650 just play on medium or high there's no real advantage by setting it to ultra instead of high to be honest everything still looks pretty much the same to me uh, oh my gosh I just noticed that RAM utilization <laughs> 13 gigabytes of RAM being utilized here Jesus Christ this game just eats so much RAM and system resources it's not even funny that's why it's not really optimized you know a game that eats 13 gigabytes of, of RAM and it's all of your VRAM available if you have like 8 gigs at least it will eat the 8 gigs of RAM <clears throat> as I saw with my GTX 1080 tests yeah guys this is just an unbelievable mess when it comes to optimization but at least you know it allows you to drop the fps by quite a bit and yeah make it playable in a variety of uh, gpus at least so okay it's not too bad you know it's not too bad but yeah i of course don't recommend you to play like this if you have experienced 20 something FPS you will know that this is not really playable yeah you know what the textures look decent actually they don't look that good to be honest and thinking that this game has actually been around for so long what the heck are they shooting at me what is going on no I don't think so hi just kill me if you want to hello how are you doing guys uh are you gonna kill me? No, they're not gonna kill me, guys. Oh, they are. Okay. <laughs> Alright, enjoy the two pieces of corn that I left for you. Alright, guys, so we got a 29 FPS on average. I'm not sure if that was a little bit messed up by us just dying there. But, yeah, 29 FPS average, 23 FPS, 1% lows. Not my cup of tea, not your cup of tea, probably. But if you want to play Rust with the 1650, just go ahead and buy the damn game. It's actually a ton of fun, so... As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. Bye-bye.